Welcome. Family. Movies brief here. Today, I am going to explain a romantic comedy film called Timer. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In the near future, a device is developed which allows one to see the exact time they will meet their soulmate. It is called the next revolutionary step in digital matchmaking by many. A facility called The Timer offers such service to common people. They insert a chip on your wrist that counts down to the day you meet your soulmate. When two soulmates come in close proximity, the timer goes off, letting them know that they have met each other. However, the timer won't start until both people have gotten the chip embedded in their wrists. Una is a Los Angeles orthodontist who has an unblinking timer, meaning that her soulmate isn't equipped with one. She has come to the timer office with her recent boyfriend to find out if he is really the one. The worker, named Matchmaker Patty, is good friends with Una because she is one of their frequent customers. Una has brought several guys to the facility in hopes of finding her soulmate. Her boyfriend is clearly nervous before going in because if their timer doesn't match, they will have to break up. Patty makes him sign a document and embeds his wrist with the implant. It starts to blink almost immediately, showing them that he has two years left to meet his soulmate. Una looks at her timer, hoping for it to start blinking, but it never does. Her boyfriend is glad that he will meet his soulmate right when he finishes medical school. After finding out they are not the one for each other, they break up and go their separate ways. Una's stepsister and roommate, Steph, has a timer that says she will not meet her soulmate for over 15 years. Since she isn't going to wait for that long, Steph's lifestyle includes one-night stands with men who are only looking for a fling like her. One day, Una is at a grocery store when the cashier named Mikey starts a conversation with her. His compliments flatter Una, but she notices he already has a timer that has a specific date on it, meaning that he is not her soulmate. Mikey also notices her timer, but suggests they can still see each other because soulmates are in the future anyway. At night, the sisters go to their parents for dinner, but Steph is late, as always. She notices Una is sad about her ex-boyfriend and advises her to resort to one-night stands until she meets the one. At their parents' house, everyone is excited for their younger brother Jesse to get his timer embedded for the first time. They have even invited a matchmaker to celebrate the event together. The matchmaker plants the implant and it immediately shows Jesse only has three days left to meet his soulmate. Everyone is happy for him, but Una thinks it's unfair. She congratulates her little brother and leaves without waiting for dinner. She drives back to the grocery store to meet Mikey. At first, she hesitates to go in, but does it anyway. Mikey is left stunned when she asks him out. He quickly asks his co-worker to take his place and follows her back to the car. The car ride to Mikey's home is awkward as the two don't have anything in common to talk about. They finally reach Mikey's apartment and are greeted by four of his roommates. The house is trashed with beer bottles and tissue papers, which makes Una rethink her decision. She also tells Mikey that she is turning 30 soon and regrets it instantly. When she is about to leave, Mikey persuades her to stay and the two finally kiss, but she notices his timer again, which only has four months left in it. Una realizes what she is doing is wrong and leaves after apologizing. The following day, she is surprised by Mikey coming to her job as a patient. He assumes that she doesn't like him because he is a cashier and explains that he does music as well. Ooh, Mikey is getting more hopeless by the second. He tries to persuade her, claiming that the timer only shows you a definite path and life is about detours. But Una bluntly states that he is not the one for her, so she is not wasting time on him. Moreover, she feels like he is cheating on his future soulmate. At night, she goes on a blind date with a man, but is clearly very bored. He only talks when she asks him questions, so the date ends on a bad note. To get over it, Una goes to a club and meets Mikey yet again. He is a drummer in the band performing at the club. The two make eye contact and end up in Mikey's room at the end of the day. As they make out, his roommates arrive at the house and disturb them. Mikey asks all of them to shut up because this is the only chance he will get with someone like Una, who is way out of his league. Meanwhile, Steph is at her job as a receptionist at a nursing home when a handsome man named Dan walks in. She is interested in him but is disappointed to notice he doesn't have a timer. At home, she asks Una about her night and is proud of her for finally getting with a guy. She also advises her to never meet him again because she might get hurt. It is finally the day Una's brother gets to meet his soulmate. His parents excitedly send him to school, but the whole day passes without his timer ringing. 
When he finally returns home, their housemaid introduces him to her daughter, Soledad, and the timer finally goes off. While Jesse's mother is excited, Soledad's parents rudely leave the premises with her. In the evening, Una is about to return home from work, when Mikey startles her. She hits him in the face, but quickly composes herself, and the two drive back to her house. Una kisses him, after making sure Steph isn't around. Starting then, they start to date. Una goes to his house frequently, and makes friends with his roommates. She tells him about her biological father, who is a music producer. She hasn't talked to him since he and his mother broke up. One day at work, Steph gets yelled at by her boss for not receiving calls. Dan lies to him and gets her out of the situation. He is clearly interested in Steph, but she seems to not care. Still, she asks him out, planning to set up a date between him and Una. She tells Una to be at the club in the evening because she hasn't been out lately. Una feels bad for not telling Steph about Mikey, but she is afraid of being judged. Later that day, Steph and Dan wait for Una at the bar for a long time, but she doesn't come. Instead, she hangs out with Mikey in her room. Steph and Dan talk for a long time. Dan tells her about his wife, who died three years ago. He believes that she was his soulmate, so he never had to plant the timer on his wrist. As the conversation continues, they start to like each other, but when Steph returns home, she is furious at Una for abandoning her. She sees Mikey in her room and figures out that they have been seeing each other in secret. Things get heated when the sisters begin to argue about Mikey's timer. He interrupts them and reveals that his timer is actually a sticker that he bought, so he would feel included. He doesn't actually believe in timers and would never get one. Una is still in utter shock and mad at him for lying to her all along. She furiously asks him to leave. Their time together had only been enjoyable because she thought it wouldn't last long. Now that she knows he doesn't have a timer, she feels betrayed. For the next week, she doesn't try to contact him, but is miserable at the same time. She finally decides to talk to him and tells him that she is sorry. They meet at Una's parents' house for Thanksgiving. Their housemaid and her daughter have also gathered for the meal. Mikey knows how to speak in Spanish, so he gets along with them easily. Una answers all the questions that her parents ask Mikey and doesn't let him speak. It is evident that she is ashamed of being in a relationship with someone so young and naive and a drummer. Meanwhile, Dan and Steph meet a couple of times and start dating. Una, on the other hand, is now unsure how she feels about Mikey. Moreover, her mother urges her to find out if Mikey is her soulmate as soon as possible. One day, he suddenly confesses that he loves her, but Una panics and leaves. She and Steph then go to see Una's biological father, Rick. They are received by a young woman who happens to be Rick's girlfriend. The first few minutes are awkward because Una hasn't talked to him for a long time. Then, she bluntly asks him why he never got a timer. The man shows her the timer on his wrist and tells her he has one, but he still has some time left to meet his soulmate. Then, his girlfriend tells them that she had her timer removed because she loves Rick and doesn't care what the timer says. The sisters are inspired by her, so they rush to get theirs removed, promising to live their life without depending on a stupid countdown. Matchmaker Kate is in utter shock to find out the girls want to remove their timers. She and the manager warn them that if the device is removed once, they cannot replant it, so this will be their last chance of finding true love. Steph says she doesn't care and finally removes hers, but when it is Una's turn, she hesitates. Seconds before it is removed, the timer starts to beep. It turns out that her soulmate got his timer embedded right then. Una only has five hours to meet him. She decides to leave it on for that time, out of curiosity, but Steph gets mad at her. The following day is their shared birthday. At night, Una's countdown stops, meaning she will meet her soulmate the next day. Their mother organizes a birthday party for the two of them. She has invited Dan and Mikey both. Steph arrives at the house first and hangs out with Dan. Mikey, on the other hand, is busy translating a conversation between the housemaid and Una's mother. They decide to stay as boss and worker and let their kids take their relationship further themselves. When Una arrives at the party, her timer rings along with Dan's, meaning that he is her soulmate. An annoyed Steph storms off to the kitchen while Mikey leaves for his house. Dan follows Steph and asks her if she is okay. Una joins the two to talk about the situation. Steph starts to yell at Una for always getting everything she wants in life. She believes that Una has taken away Dan, who is the only person she was ever interested in. The sisters get into a fight, which ends when Una tells Steph she is her best friend and she doesn't want Dan. 
After Una leaves, Dan tells Steph that he got a timer because it was important for her and that he doesn't care for her sister. The following morning, Una goes to meet Mikey at his house. She shows him that she got her timer removed because she wants to be with him. Mikey is confused at first, he's a drummer after all, but then finally kisses her. The next day, Steph wakes Una up and they solve their differences. In the last scene, Una then goes out on a run and coincidentally meets Dan. They talk for a while and find out they have a lot in common, but at last, they laugh and go their separate ways. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.